So today we've got Mark Jones. Now Mark, you are, you've always been politically active in our town. Uh, and I've got a lot of time for that because I, I like people who at least make waves for what they believe in. Um, but amongst your political beliefs, you also have a, a strong interest in trying to get things right for people, which I think is key, really. And you run something called Toothless. Toothless in Suffolk, Toothless in England, and that's about the lack of dental services. Question, is Felix Day going to become a dental desert? Uh, I don't know about becoming one. It's It's already... It already is and has been for quite some time. Right. Um, for those that are journeying into Felixstowe and choosing uh, to purchase a house or, or rent somewhere in Felixstowe mm -hmm. because of work or you know perhaps the lifestyle, because Felixstowe is a fantastic town, um, they're coming to Felixstowe to live and finding, well, they might just be able to get a GP register with a GP mm -hmm. but they cannot for love and the money find an NHS dentist and that's been the case for a very long time. But we've just had one dentist say they're closing the doors to NHS patients as of April and the other one there's one other dentist who currently treats NHS patients but not taking new ones so that really leaves people completely stuffed what are they supposed to do get a piece of string and a door handle well i think for some people it may well come to that because uh, the alternative is to uh, pay as i'm as i've led to believe from the letter that went out from the uh, uh, dentist that's uh, closing its doors on nhs patients mm. to its those that are registered with them that uh, they're, they're offering a private healthcare private insurance um, and that will just offset some of the uh, costs the bills should they need a checkup or should they need something more than a checkup fillings or extractions so what we're seeing here in Felixstowe right now is what the campaign has been our campaign toothless it started here in in Suffolk toothless in Suffolk it's now a national campaign and has been for about 18 months mm. that the impact that this is having on the community and in this case it's the community of Felixstowe is dramatic mm. and very problematic for not just the families that are involved the individuals that are used to going for a checkup every every year or twice a year mm. but the impact that it will have further down the road with people not things like uh, oral cancers not being picked up right. because that's one of the first things a, a dentist will look at when you go for your checkup is he or she will ask you to open your mouth roll your tongue around and they'll be looking for signs of oral cancer and that's not being picked up and it won't be being picked up in Felixstowe now and the impact obviously of cancer not being detected early enough and being dealt with soon enough um, the long-term effects are, are disastrous catastrophic for people one of the things that's recently hit me on this one is a couple of months ago um, during parliamentary question time uh, someone one of the MPs asked our leader Rishi Sunak about um, the availability of dental surgeons or dental services in the UK and this is what he said. There are no NHS dentists taking on patients in Lancaster and Fleetwood and for those constituents of mine lucky enough to have one they're waiting months for an appointment so can I ask the Prime Minister how long he had to wait for his last NHS dentist appointment? Uh, Prime Minister! Well, Mr. Mr Speaker, we, as a result of the new reformed NHS dentistry contract, there are now more NHS dentists across the UK with more funding, making sure people can get the treatment they need. So, according to Mr Sunak, you can find a dentist anywhere, they've got a new contract. What's the story on that, Mark? Well, not only ourselves 
as toothless in England, but also the British Dental Association asked uh, and called for the Prime Minister to return to the House of Commons to retract that statement that he yeah. said in front of the House yeah. because factually what he was saying was not what you would you or I would consider being the truth. The truth of the fact the fact of the matter is that there is no fundamental reform being carried out with the NHS contract and the monies that are being injected into the contract do not in any shape or form significantly alter the prospects of ensuring that either if you're lucky enough to have an NHS dentist for it to remain in place or to encourage practices to return to the contract, pick up the contract again and um, restart uh, NHS provision in the town. We've worked out what's actually happening. We've got no dentists in town who are taking NHS patients. We have no prospect of getting dentists in town who are taking NHS patients because there is no new contract and no new deal for dentists. So you're a Philipstow person, I'm a Philipstow person. There are 30 odd thousand of us in Philipstow and more all the time with the new houses. What do Philipstow people do? Well, I think they're, they're scratching their heads. They're asking the same question. And no matter what comes out of uh, the mouths of politicians or ministers, health ministers, whatever comes out of the mouths or the press releases when the NHS England or NHS East of England are challenged on this matter, mm -hmm. none of that, those words of supposed encouragement for the people of Felixstowe, will ever materialise because there is complete intransigence by the government and by the uh, His Majesty's uh, Treasury to leave things as they are and we are so seeing the managed decline and this is the, the effects what we've had here in, in Felixstowe mm -hmm. in this past week or so are seeing the effects of the managed decline of NHS dentistry the consequences of which we all know are horrific, um, leading to DIY dentistry, which is there is more and more of. Uh, we have children who are in primary education, primary school education, who have yet to see an NHS dentist. They, are, they do not associate themselves with a toothbrush, or in, in, in some cases, I would say, they don't associate good oral health care with a toothbrush and vice versa and they do not have uh, interventions by uh, a qualified dentist because that's just not part of the everyday oral health care ongoing health care um, for for people and their families and it's it's tragic so what we're doing as a campaign we have submitted evidence to the House of Commons Health and Social Care Committee mm -hmm. just last month and we are hoping uh, that evidence which is being put to the committee there they're, they're running an inquiry into NHS dentistry we hope later on this year to meet with them and offer uh, evidence in person oral evidence when that's taken mm -hmm and we'll be looking to organise a rally outside Parliament on the day that that evidence is heard and I would encourage people from Felixstowe please get in touch with us, please send us your stories and please support us and if you're able to come down to Westminster date to be confirmed but come and join us on the steps of Houses of Parliament and demand an NHS dentist for everyone. That's what we're calling for. We're not going away until we get what we are calling for and what everybody needs. It is that simple, an NHS dentist for everyone.